Hey guys! Welcome or welcome back to Studio Ploy. Gerald here or you can call me Ploy as well. So where I am now is the same location na sinute ko yung welcome vlog natin. Finally, after 5 months of doing the renovation and plus 1 month of editing kasi nagkandawala-wala yung ating clips. So i-reveal na natin, makikita nyo na yung full unit makeover of the very first home improvement here in Studio Ploy. This unit is a studio unit with a floor area of 23.57 square meters. So, it's a tiny tiny studio unit na kinonvert natin into a one bedroom by putting this partition here. So, nung tinon over ito, actually, standard finish na siya. So, ibig pong sabihin ito, painted na yung kanyang walls and ceilings and meron na rin siyang tiles. Yung fixtures niya sa kitchen, kompleto na din, together with yung kanyang toilet and bath. So actually, it's livable na. All you need to do is just bring some appliances and furniture, and of course your clothes. Pwede na siyang tarahan. Pero so, syempre, wala tayong gagawin kung ginawa lang natin yun. So, i-upgrade natin yung unit and ang team natin is Scandinavian Industrial. Kung mapapansin nyo, sa mga favorite feature ko sa unit na to is yung nasa likod ko, yung parang cement finish. It's a kind of paint of a certain brand. Ang tawag is wall art. Bali, parang mga 2 to 3 weeks ko siyang ginawa. Pero, sobrang ganda nung kanyang effect. Parang very raw ang kanyang dating. So, parang actually, yan yung isong feature ng na industrial. So, since nag-start tayo ng renovation dito nung March, which is nung nag-start din yung lockdown, hindi tayo pwede kumuha ng mga tao. So, 90 to 95% po ng unit ito is ginawa ko siya. Of course, with a little help. Pagkatapos yung 5 to 10% is itong divider at saka yung open shell because since hindi ko naman po siya kaya i-produce mag-isa. So, ito lang talaga yung pinagawa ko from an, up, from an outside contractor. So, everything else, literal kung ginawa natin siya for 5 months nga lang. Tapos, when it comes sa mga furnitures, hindi po tayo nagpagawa ng fit-outs kasi wala din, mahirap din tayong kumuha ng mga tao since delikado nga. Ang ginawa ko, nag-purchase tayo ng mga modular ng mga furnitures na madali lang natin siya ma-assemble. Madami na tayong mabibili ngayon dyan. And then, meron na tayong nakukuha na ng IKEA dito sa Philippines. Meron nag nagbibenta ng mga ganyan sa, sa IG or sa, sa online. And then, papadeliver lang natin. So, most ng furnitures dito, actually, 100% ng furnitures dito is modular. So, nung dineliver siya, inassemble lang natin siya. So, kaya-kaya itong gawin kahit na wala po tayong kasama. Kasi, very easy lang gawin ng ating mga furnitures. Ang gawin nyo lang, is dapat lang talaga, is imimix and match nyo, or dapat, gagawa lang tayo ng parang, gagawa lang tayo ng parang mood board, na para yung mga specific na furnitures na gagamitin natin, is mag-jive siya doon sa specific look na gusto natin mangyari. For this unit, ang gagawin nga natin, is Scandinavian Industrial. So, for our safety, nung pinainstall natin itong ating partition here tsaka yung ating open shelving is nung nag-GCQ na. Kasi since bawal din naman pumasok dito yung mga gagawa nung may pit pa yung ating classification ng quarantine. So, isa to actually sa nag ng delay kung bakit umabot tayo ng 5 months bago matapos itong ating renovation. When it comes to the kitchen, very minimal lang ang ginawa natin doon. So, what I did is nagdagdag tayo ng open shelving for an additional storage. Yung kanyang cupboards na, na nakalagay na doon nung tinon over ito, niritain lang natin siya, pero pinalitan natin yung kanyang handles into black para mag-jive siya doon sa color na matte black yung open shelving na pinag pinagawa natin. And then, yung kanyang countertop, since maganda yung granite na ginamit, niritain din natin siya. Pakatapos, ang ginagdag ko doon is yung kanyang backsplash. Originally kasi yung backsplash, painted lang siya. So, hindi siya masyadong maganda. Ang ginawa ko, dilagay natin siya ng mosaic tiles 
na parang subway tas na tatay. But this one, since mosaic nga siya, mas smaller version siya ng, ng subway tas. Para mag-jive lang din siya doon sa ating theme, which is in Scandinavian industrial na. So, very minimal, pero malaki yung impact na, na, na nagawa niya doon sa overall look niya. Finally, today, makapag-start na tayo mag-style para after nun pwede na tayo mag-shoot ng buong unit. I had so much fun in doing the whole makeover and I'm so excited for you guys to see the final result of the unit. So, 
Let's reveal the full transformation. Enjoy the walkthrough, guys! Thank you so much for watching. By the way guys, I made this a two-part video. The first one that you just saw focused on the aesthetics. The second one, which will be posted by next week, will be focusing more on the function ng ating furniture and accessories na ginamit. If you like this video and you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop me a line in the comment section below. 
This channel is fairly new. I hope that as it grows, you continue to support and enjoy all our upcoming contents. I also hope that this video inspires you in doing your own dream spaces. Maraming salamat po sa panonood. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one!